There's a term, snitches get stitches. And I've been thinking about it. I'm out on my ATV, riding around in one of my favorite areas to ride, which is the Vernal, Utah area. And uh, that's just kind of a 360 of where I am. I've covered a lot of this land uh, this year, both this spring and now. Anyway, as I was driving out to the place where I parked my truck and unloaded the ATVs, I was thinking, I was listening to Michael Malice talk about Stalin and how uh, there were a lot of the people who snitched on other people and then they, they thought they were getting ahead and then the files were all released and uh, those people were in trouble because everybody had access to who it was that had snitched on them and there were some repercussions. This was even in the some of the administrations right after Stalin in the next 20, 30 years. And uh, I'm thinking about this and, and I'm thinking about when it's okay to snitch and when it isn't. And it occurs to me that maybe the time that it would be okay to snitch is if you would otherwise do something about the problem yourself if there weren't outside controls in place. And so an example of that was, let's say that you don't think child molestation is a good thing. And you found out that somebody was a child molester. And you said, well, the right thing to do would be to go and, and relieve this person of their uh, respiration, uh, continued respiration. And that's what you, you know, it's the right thing to do. You, you want to go kill them. But then you realize if you go kill them, you're going to get in trouble with the government. The government's going to say, hey, wait a minute. Our job is to, to use force, not yours. You should have just called us and told us. And so you would end up in prison if you went and helped relieve this person of life. So then what is the, what's the thing to do? What, what are your options? You don't let this guy continue molesting kids. What do you do? You almost have to say, in this kind of situation, I'm going to tell the fuzz. I'm going to tell the government. And I wish there was a different way to solve this. But as things currently stand, the, the best bet is going to be for me to just tell the government, let them deal with this guy. Okay, in that, in that situation, I would say that being a snitch, a stool pigeon, informant, confidential informant, uh, witness, whatever you want to call it, I would say that it's acceptable in those circumstances. And I think a lot of people would agree with that. There are probably some cultures in prison and such that wouldn't even like it in that event. But eh, I think if you, if you sat around with your prison buddies and you said, hey, that dude over there is molesting kids. Um, I'd like to go kill him, but would you guys just be cool if I told people about it? I think they might be okay with that. There's still such a stigma, though. It's one of those things, kind of like molesting kids, that you just don't do. You just don't do. And they call it a, a witness protection program. And I think that might be a very clever, excellent wording. Like if I was ever going to have a government, and whether it was more of a, a collectivist like Stalin or, or Hitler or, or whatever, even a, a lighter weight collectivism like the, the United States or something like that, I think I would still... I would still not name it the snitch protection program or the stool pigeon protection program because I think there's a certain, I don't know, there's a certain stigma that comes with the word snitch. It's, of course, the same thing. If you're informing to the government about your what your fellows, fellow citizens are doing and then they come get your fellow citizens, yeah, that's, that's snitching, stool pigeoning, informing, witnessing, whatever you want to call it. But I do think it's smart to call it by that lighter name. So what do you think about this? Is that an acceptable time to, to be a stool pigeon? Is it okay to report people who are doing things that are, that are bad? And how do you make that decision then? Do you then say, well, I also don't like, I don't like child molesters. I don't like murderers. I don't like rapists. I especially don't like tax cheats. Well, wait a minute. There's a difference there. When a person doesn't allow the government to take money from them, in other words, when they, they don't pay their taxes, 
That's such a silly term, isn't it? Pay their taxes. It's like <laughs> paying my carjacker. Um, if they don't let the person steal from them, well, that's not a that's not a bad crime. That's not something that it's not a mal and say crime. It's a mal and prohibitum. And there's a big difference between those two things. Um, it, that maybe that's the big difference. If it's somebody who is stealing something, and the way that society is around you, the best way to deal with uh, stealers, with thieves, is to uh, not take care of it appropriately, as a as a free person should, but instead to tell the government so that they can do something about it. If that's the system in which you live, and you don't really have other options, or good, well, I guess good options, maybe that's what you have to do. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's that difference between mal and say and mal and prohibit them. Uh, maybe it's the, the idea that if you have a, a moonshine still, or you, you know your neighbor has one, you don't report them for that. But if you know they're getting ready to kill somebody, or they have killed and buried a bunch of people in their backyard who were not state of nature people, but uh, real humans, eh, I think that might be okay to, to be a stool pigeon, to be a rat, to be a snitch. Um, what do you think? Do you agree with my assessment of this? Or is it just never, ever, ever acceptable? And will there be hell to pay any to anyone who informs against their fellow citizens to governments? I don't know. What do you think?